Hey everyone, this is Dekuzor, and uh, I'm back again with uh, kind of like a final update on my build. So, this is what I've got here. This is a Corsair RGB Strafe mechanical keyboard. Um, what does that? <laughs> this is a Myonix Castor light, uh, mouse. Uh, took me some getting used to, but I really like it. It's also pulsing a blue light. Um, it's lighter than my old Razer, obviously. So I'm running two panels. This is an IPS LG ultra wide 60 hertz monitor um, in 1440p. Uh, this is a 1440p BenQ uh, 144 hertz monitor. Um, that's an explosion sound. I don't want to know. <laughs> anyway, um, this is my ta uh, case. Uh, this is a Cooler Master Mastercase Pro 5, as you've seen from the other video if you've watched that. Um, and uh, it's got lots of blue. Like lots and lots and lots of blue. So blue LED fans in the top. Two blue LED fans in the front, in front of the radiator. Here's a blue LED fan right there. There is a blue cold cathode going up this, and there's obviously this cold cathode here. And beneath this here is a blue LED chain, and there's another blue LED chain here. And I can actually change the color of those if I so desire, if I can find the uh, remote. Yes, I can. So let's, let's, let's do that to show you. So now there is a red light underneath, and there's also a red light from above now, but I don't like that. It doesn't fit my like what I'm going for, so um, blue underglow. Um, right. Um, PS4 controller, blue front when it's plugged in, obviously, from that light. Uh, kind of a nice thing. That's why I chose the PS4 controller rather than the Xbox green. Um, yeah, for my uh, USB controller solution. Um, let's turn on the light. So now you can see I have a optical disc drive here from Lassier. It's not very good, but it does play Blu-rays and DVDs sort of, kind of, when it feels like it. So, you know, whatever. Um, I don't really need them, but whatever. It's, it was nice to have, just in case. Um, these are Logitech speakers. They work well if I don't use my headphones. Speaking of headphones, my headphones are right here. There's my socks on the floor in the bathroom, whatever. Um, so these are uh, Sennheisers, uh, Urbanites, XLs. These are cigarettes. Don't look at those because that's a really bad habit of mine. <laughs> um, I'll put those over there. Um, this is a Logitech. Uh, HD 1080p webcam that I'm using for the uh, overlay on my camera videos and whatever. It's not very good, but it does do 30 FPS 1080p, so it's good enough. Yeah, and that is... Oh, one more thing. So under here, we have, you can see it kind of in the mirror, that is a blue Yeti microphone um, with a pop filter in front of it. And it's aimed at my face so that I can talk to it. Um, it's underneath the desk because there's no room on my desk, but it's still aimed at me. So it's making the audio quite nice. Although the last video I recorded, which won't be up for a while, but the last one I recorded, um, the audio was kind of imbalanced because it couldn't. It was kind of being drowned out by the game I was playing, and it's fine. I'll, I'll improve that as we go. Yeah, so I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed my, uh... Oh, right. So that is a Sapphire AMD R9 Fury X and with the blue LED activity lights. And it it is wonderful. I completely support running these. Although at this point with DirectX 12 uh, having that cross GPU function, I might end up running one day, not right now, but one day an NVIDIA card in here as well and have them both running at the same time for DirectX 12 games and then maybe um, I don't know another Radeon card for um, an actual crossfire setup or maybe another NVIDIA 
one of the two. I don't know. I don't really like NVIDIA green. I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I will see you all.